What if you had 12 volts coming into here, but then slowly over time that 12 volts sort of dropped so that perhaps when it was maybe below about three or four volts, something activated. Uh, in this case, maybe we'll make it an LED, but it could be something like a generator, which then charged up the battery again. And when it got above a certain uh, voltage, let's say nine-ish volts, then it would cut out. And, and in this case, this would be a green light. So what we're really looking for is a way of comparing voltages throughout that scale. If only we had a comparator. The LM339 is a quad comparator. I'll put the pin out up here, but basically you've got four comparators uh, in the one package. And we're only just going to be using two of them. And firstly, I think what we might need to do is to have a look and see if we can do a simulation of what is required for this circuit. And then we'll come back and we'll try it for real. So here's my window comparator circuit using two of the four comparators available on the LM339. And uh, it's set up here as sort of like almost an alarm system uh, with a high value and a low value. And the idea is that if uh, the value that's fed in to the system is somewhere between those two values, then everything's fine. So think of it like temperature, for instance. So if the temperature is too high, that's a problem. If the temperature is too low, that's a problem. And uh, if there's no light showing, then everything is good. So let's just work our way through the circuit. So we've got 12 volts coming in on the left-hand side there. And the very first thing I've got is a voltage divider just to split that up to give 6 volts coming into the window. So that's the, uh, the voltage in, if you like, what we're measuring. So whether that be temperature or speed or, well, voltage or anything at all. And then I've got this... Um, Three, these three resistors set up as a divider and I've chosen 4.7k, 10k and another 4.7k which gives me an upper value of 9 volts and a lower value of around 3 volts. So anything between 9 volts and 3 volts and these lights don't go on. So let's have a look at the 10k and we'll go up to 100k. That gives us almost 11 volts. So that's above the 9 volts and therefore the upper light is on that's the alarm going off if you like and that could be a buzzer or in this case it's just a, a red led and then if i make this let's say 1k so we have the opposite situation so that's now uh one volt coming through and that is below three volts and so that light is going on so I reckon that's a pretty useful circuit. Seems to work fine in the simulator. So I'll put it on a breadboard and see if we can get it working in real life. An unusual beast is the LM339 from a couple of perspectives. Just looking at the pinout here, we've got VCC coming in on pin 3 and ground out on pin 12, which, uh, you know, is a bit unusual, I think. Then the other thing is that these orange lines here coming out of these two outputs, they don't source current uh, as is in the simulator, but in fact they sync current. So uh, what I've got is VCC coming in via this current limiting resistor to the two LEDs and then going down through the output lines uh, and out through ground. So yeah, syncing current, not sourcing current. So. Uh, just be aware of that if you are going to build something like this because that is a bit unusual. So looking at the circuit, we've got our 10K resistor here and then I've got a 100K pot going down to ground and then the signal coming out of that, that's the green one here, uh, coming to these two pins. This is the inverting and non-inverting uh, inputs from uh, two different comparators and you can see them tied together there in the middle. And then we've got our three resistors here, our 4.7, our 10, and our 4.7, which should give us, uh, well, let's test it. It should give us 
the same as the simulator, which is around about, uh, yeah, I think nine or so volts, and then the bottom one should be around three volts. So let's test that if we go to ground here. So we've got, I think, 12 volts coming in on this side. Let's get that measured up. That's 11 point, what is that, 93. Uh, let's just test that again. So I've got, yeah, 11.93. And then on the other side, we've got our first cutoff. So, yep, that's 9 volts. And then on the other side again, we should have down to 3 volts. And there it is, about 2.9-ish. So, yep, that's pretty good. So those uh, outputs from that voltage divider go to the other sides of those comparators as per the um, as per the circuit diagram. Okay, so all we need to do then is to change the voltage coming in. So at the moment it says around 6 volts. So if we change that, let's raise it. As soon as it gets over 9, the green light should come on. There it is. So there's your nine volts, so all in the green. This is the upper level above that window. And then we go back down again. And this is in the middle zone there. And then if we get down to below three, or what was it, 2.9. Whoops, dropped around too early there. There's 2.5 and there's 3.5. Okay, so that's the cutoff for the uh, red light at the bottom. Hope you can see that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we'll go back up again and we'll get the, the green one at the top. Over 9 volts. And there it is. So yeah, nice little circuit that one. A um, bit of fun putting it together too and could be quite useful for doing things like monitoring battery levels. Uh, that is the circuit working for this week. We'll see you next time.